This NFL next team odds edition of the Sports Gambling Podcast is brought to you by Edge Boost. Edge Boost enables you to double your bet with no interest. That's right. Go to sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash edge to get started today. We're also brought to you by Bird Dog Shorts. The world's greatest shorts are hooking you up with a free Yeti style tumbler when you order over at birddogs.com slash pool. That's birddogs.com slash pool. Hey, this is Eric Metcalf. You're listening to SGPN. Let it ride. To the sports gambling podcast. I'm Sean stacking the money green with my partner in picks, Ryan. Real money Kramer. What's happening, Kramer? Dog. Mmm. Hello, Sean. Ryan, congrats to your Denver Nuggets. Big NBA guy. Big NBA guy. Huge uh, NBA guy. Hitting the uh hitting the Nuggets in five. I think you also had Nuggets laying the game and a half. Uh, uh nice series for the Nuggets. Uh, the the Heat, that was one of the weirder. I'm actually like not going to take credit for that. Games. Did not have minus one and a okay. half. Only nugs and five. Okay. Yep. Was so confident. You asked me twice well, if I wanted something weed. else. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, lock it up. It, like you were getting to. It was. Uh, it was a circus. It was. Uh, a, it was a very weird game to go out on. I did at least go out cashing my uh, heat plus uh, the points there. You went out proud. You were a Jimmy Butler fan. I was a Jimmy Butler fan. You <laughs> saw you saw that version of Jimmy Butler for like a ninety oh. second window where he he put up nine points in a row, and then the rest of the game he was just a complete no show. But uh, I mean, Disgusting. it's hilarious to win a championship in your home court with such a ugly performance shooting wise. They tried to take it from him multiple times. Jimmy Butler kicked a man in the nuts <laughs> and got three free throws for it. It was uh it was a it was a really weird game. Low key funny moment of the entire thing was Mark Jackson calling for the flagrant foul when Jimmy Butler kicked kicked Gordon in the nuts. <laughs> They didn't overturn it though. Not enough visual evidence. Not enough Apparently, visual evidence. Kicking someone in the nuts is the natural part of the shooting motion. Well, and, what and was he supposed to do? Not uh, kick him in the nuts? Of course, Joker had a great uh, line right after the game ended. <laughs> you just won the NBA championships. Work is done. We go home now. Oh yeah, I get <laughs> the even, job is done. We on, go man. home now. That, it's it, this is such a great. I mean, this is the kind of stuff. I mean, it's in hard not future. to like. Joker is a very likable guy. Denver, awesome city. Congrats to Nugs Nation uh, jo- everywhere. Great win. Was very recently at a graduation, and where they recite like the the, the the like young. This was elementary school, so they were reciting basic quotes. I could see this Joker quote falling into that 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 folklore of sport and quote. You are an NBA champion, Nicola. How does that feel? It's good. It's good. The job is done. We can go home now. <laughs> like the it's gra- good. It's good. Like the, the gra- job is done. We can go home now. Like the great Joker once said, <laughs> "The job is done. Now it's we good. can go home." It's good. The job is done. We can go home now. The job for us, Ryan. Start talking about the National Football League. Football levels engaged. We turn the corner from the National Basketball Station Association. I, s- I sound like uh, Lou Holtz there. <laughs> you just did so association. M- NBA Sean just got knocked out <laughs> somewhere in there. NFL Sean is back and better than ever, and of course, loading up on Edge Boost. That's right. Double your bet with zero percent interest. Imagine, imagine the mountains. You'd be Scrooge McDuck over here, swimming in coins. If you took Kramer's uh, bet of Nuggets and five and doubled it up with zero percent interest again. This is not some loan shark. You're not getting in over your head. Uh, you're extending your bankroll, and you can manage it. Uh, Edge Boost has a uh, you know they're part of a responsible gambling plan. You can set up limits across all your betting accounts in one place. That's right. It is a uh, Visa debit card, the world's first ever bet now pay later Visa card. Again, support SGPN and grow your bankroll by going to sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash edge to sign up today. That's sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash edge. Must be 21 years or older to use. Problem gambling? Call 1 800 Gambler. 
So we're uh we are going to be talking these free agent odds are always kind of fun here while we transition to our team previews right around the corner or even before that our top 10 fantasy lists always uh I always uh, like to throw in a couple flaming hot takes in there so stay tuned for yeah, that it's it's, in, it's important to give give us space in that transitioning period right we're going to you know it's not quite football season basketball and uh, hockey basically done it's just baseball. Mm. Give us some space. All right. We're going to work through some stuff and we're going to transition right into that beautiful, sweet pigskin, which by the way, Sean, I don't mean to bury the lead or, or uh, not uh, completely get us on a tangent, but I did start to do some investigation on the new turf and giant stadium. Oh, I think the league's going to be very happy. He oh, really? Very happy. Some, a lot of the beat reporters were pretty marveled at how much it feels like grass. Mm. So, but it's not grass could be league changing. No, not grass. Still not happy about that, but mm. could be some revolutionary shit here. I don't know. Elon maybe is involved solving the world's problems. <laughs> Put some Mars dust in there. All right. You want to, you want to talk about actual odds we can bet on Yes. Or so did you want to say something before about transitioning? We were having a transitioning conversation. <laughs> uh, we got DeAndre Hopkins. We got Chase Young. Nah, we got Dalvin Cook. Let's do Chase figuring Young. Figuring out their figuring out their next team. Let's do Chase Young. First. Chase Young of these, I think this, at least from searching around, trying to find angles, little scoops here, there, little tidbits to help with uh, forecasting. I thought Chase Young kind of the hardest one uh, to nah, pin down. He is the only guy that's still on a team. So yeah, you, there, there is that where he like typically when we do these episodes, it's free agents, which is interesting because, I mean, I guess the messaging is strong enough to where they're offering the odds. It does. It seems like the the potentially the new ownership group maybe trying to. Well, Andrew Robin and the uh, oh. uh, Andrew Robin the YouTube chat saying Chase Young ain't going anywhere unless it's a great deal. Here's the problem: you got a new owner, and the coach says this guy's out on football. And yeah. This guy's not in on the Redskins or the or the Commanders. Well, and and it's a it's a they they have a bunch of other high priced, or you know, guys that they're gonna have to pay on the like D line that they actually like. And and Chase Young is clearly odd man out. I it does feel like they're ready to give up on. It's very odd. They didn't pick up the option. Clear sign. They're not gonna I doubt they're gonna franchise him at the end of the year. So yeah, it does seem like they're trying to deal him, get something for him. Uh Andrew clearly he's he's a fan. I understand. <laughs> All right, so Andrew doesn't want to admit the Commanders, Redskins, Red Wolves football team are oh. out on him. But again, like all the stuff they've leaked make it seem like he is not going to be but put it this way, there are odds on his next team and I don't see the Commanders on here. Well, in fairness, I believe it actually says Oh, if assuming it not the Commanders. Yes. So it, you know, that but that, I do like that dig. It was a good dig. Uh, I mean, he's in the next team market. And, and remember when? Uh, remember when Chase Young was a can't miss prospect? Fun fact: Yeah, pick two that year. Chase Young, pick three. Jeff Akuda. Yeah, Giants got Andrew Thomas that year. Not a bad pick at all. All right. Uh, so bottom of the top, not a ton of teams in this one. Obviously, off the board, you know they, they kind of screw you here, but they don't have a field. But Kansas City, twelve to one. Obviously. Kansas City is a great fit for every free agent. We yeah. always say this. Lo love to say it. Um, they, you know, Chris Jones. Obviously, he's about to get. Just doesn't seem like the kind of roster where they're looking to bring. Well, here's the thing: How, if you view Chase Young as a generational defensive line talent, they don't typically come available very often. And you maybe can get it on the cheap, which even clearly needs a, clearly injury issues, attitude issues for Chase Young. So, but he, I, I think he needs to go to a a team with a strong nucleus, and and certainly Kansas City fits that. Sure, uh, also needs to be a team that's willing to spend on that position. Yeah, that, I, I don't, I don't think they haven't, they haven't been a team to spend. Yeah, they, you know, they paid decent amount for uh, some. I, I feel like Chase Young's still going to get paid though. Is yeah, that possible? I, all right, Panthers ten to one. Obviously, um, you know, also important to bring up the cap space uh, situation because you know some teams just have a lot of money, and you 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 can't take it with you. Carolina, Sean, currently number two in cap space, twenty seven million dollars. No, I I think this is an interesting one. 
again, I, it doesn't Reich's. seem like there's a super strong demand for Chase Young. Second chance. We'll, we'll see once the if they actually get close to trading him. But I mean, I, I don't like. What do you have to give up to get Chase Young? I don't think it's a lot because I do think if you trade for him, part of it is maybe restructuring his deal. Nick, uh, well, no, he's the, this is the last year. He this is he's on the last expiring. They didn't pick up the option, so it would be he's gonna want the new team to give him a deal. This is one of those weirdo spots where like he hasn't really performed, so you can't pick up the option, but you're not really gonna franchise him because that would be too rich unless he balled out, and so someone who believes that he is that kind of talent is going to come in. They're going to pick him up for like a second round pick, maybe a third rounder. Yeah. I don't think you have to give up a second rounder it, but you, because you have to pay him. But yeah, again, it's a, it's a first, it's a, it's a potential. It's the kind of player that doesn't become available very often is all I'm saying. Right. Yeah, I, I think I think third round pick probably gets it done. Panthers are an interesting team, especially at ten to one. They seem to be, you know, flipping the switch here. You got a young quarterback. I'm sure they're looking to, you know, spend some money. Yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't be shocked at uh, yeah, ten to one. We'll keep keep going. I think there's an article out there which by, as I was doing the uh the, the the research on this one, one thing can stop Chase Young trade rumors, but the commanders won't oblige. Basically, they can say they want him on the team, and they're not looking to shop him. But they're not saying that. <laughs> no, they said they're so, listening to trade offers. Well, that doesn't mean they're trading him. If I learned anything about the Trey Lance situation, that doesn't mean they're trying to trade him. It one hundred percent does because once you openly shop a player, these no, guys no. are so sensitive. Yeah, it really is true. I mean, has Chase what does Chase Young still play for the Redskins on his social media pages? That's what I want to know. <laughs> no, one hundred percent no. But I'll check his Instagram. All right. Uh, so Pan, I, I'm I'm not pulling the trigger on either of these. They're not interesting. Not interested. But- I, I don't think the Panthers build their team that this way. Uh, Dallas Cowboys nine to one with the Colts. I mean, obviously, it's oh, uh, I, I think you have to cross the Cowboys off because. Well, they do have a, a decent amount of cap space at this point, but I I can't imagine they're going to make that kind of move. Jerry likes likes the offensive splash. I, I I can't imagine the Cowboys. I can't imagine. I'm not in, I'm not playing the Colts. I mean, Ursay is a loose cannon, but any yeah, interest for you? I, I, at these prices, I'm jumping the next group. I have two teams I like. Oh, okay, because so. yeah. At the eight to one, I definitely have one that uh, you mentioned uh, oh, yeah. in the back well, office we're, that we're I really like. Up. But yeah, Colts and Cowboys. To your point, Cowboys. I think they feel like they're good with uh, Michael Parsons. Colts. Yeah, I don't know. I I, I think it's a rebuild. I, I don't think you bring in the kind of guy that, if if true, uh, and, and I think there's more. Like I think the NFL circles probably no, like trust this word from like a Ron Rivera, but it sounds like he's not in on like. Team ball or football, maybe. No. Well, and and uh, breaking news, Ryan, we have confirmed uh, Washington Washington football is listed in Chase Young's Instagram. Yeah, so Andrew, you should comment where you want him to go as a fan <laughs> of of uh, Ryan. You're really bumming him out because of he, Young. of course, uh, beat you for a uh, I think it was a fan some fantasy football bet where you got him so a Chase great. Young jersey. It's true, I which did. now may be obsolete. So nah. I think he's he's too close to the situation. No, when when it happens, I want you to send that jersey to the <laughs> to the studio to be enshrined in the in the uh, the DJ. Oh, hall maybe we should have that set up a uh, hall of fame of like <laughs> short lived jerseys. <laughs> this is the chase young Jersey. That, uh, all right. So eight to one tier. We have the Cardinals, the 49ers and the Steelers. I, I, I mean, I'm going to jump in right away. Of course you are Ryan Steelers. You mentioned the Steelers uh, to no me pun intended. And I love, I love the Steelers here. At it's so one. easy. It's such an easy pick. We love Mike Tomlin. If there's anyone that can go out there and say, you know what? I can change this man's passion. It's Mike Tomlin. Yeah. You got TJ Watt across the way, which but not not an Ohio State guy, but a Big Ten guy. Mm. That would be a nasty pairing if you were to get him motivated. Because you're right. He does need to go to a team where there's some people there that are gonna be willing to get in his face and be like, This is how we do it here. And the Steelers are one of those places. Absolutely. I mean, you got you got absolute leaders and absolute stuff. They got so, some cap space. I think they could get this done. And again, they're in, they're definitely in win now mode. And there's in smoke that, it, it, in the AFC North. There's rumors picking up, but yeah, I I love this as a as a spot for Chase Young. I, I think I think the smoke. So I 
I also think Mike Tomlin's one of the few guys who like, if someone got in to chase young's ear and was like, you do need to like rehab your image. Mike Tomlin is the kind of place you go to oh, rehab yeah. your image. I mean, Brian, I, and, Brian and Flores just got done with a stint. If you're Chase Young, and I, he probably lacks the self awareness, but <laughs> if you're Chase Young, you should be hoping you end up on the Steelers, a team with a winning franchise, yeah. team with like a great pedigree, a team with a great coach. Again, none of that really uh, present in uh, current Washington oh, football. Wow. Wow. Yeah, just, uh, just destroy. Listen to her, the program. I mean, Riverboat Ron, he's more. Uh, it's kind of like daycare, Ron. He just kind of keeps an eye on things. Okay. It, hey, you know, shopkeeper, Ron. Uh, he's, he's not wheeling and dealing. He's not really grinding it out. I mean, Ron Rivera seems like a competent guy, but is Ron Rivera going to win a Super Bowl with the Washington oh, Commanders? Wow. That's harsh. I mean, there are they're down and out. We're talking about Chase Young's <laughs> leaving the team. All right, so there's another team at eight to one though Kay. that has recklessly dealt their picks. For assets, veteran assets, in an attempt to win now, Christian McCaffrey. Mm. They've also recklessly dealt their picks to trade up for a, an unproven asset like Trey Lance. They clearly are right. in win, win, known, win now mode. And the Bosa brothers, of course, went to Ohio State mm. as the Chase Young hanging right. out at the alumni uh, dinners. Hear me out. Well, maybe, uh, maybe the. Uh, Washington, the new uh, the new uh, owner there, maybe wants to make a little splash, bring in a highly touted mm -hmm. quarterback oh, as oh, part of. Oh. The, that's right, Che <laughs> Trey Lance to the Commanders. Well, who says no? Why would they not take who a shot at no? Trey Lance? Well, the Washington Commanders say no. They don't Why? want Trey Lance. Why would you not? I mean, come on. We're, I, I if get what I you're was saying. a team without a quarterback, I would want to. I wouldn't be opposed to trading for Trey Lance, especially if you unload a problem in Chase Young. You're getting a. I think you can tra Trey Lance and a fourth rounder. I'm it in. It does let uh, forehead welcome Matt forehead John Lynch save face, that, which is annoying. Oh, I mean, if you're the Forty Niners, you can still pretend like, oh man, we were <laughs> so high on Trey Lance, but it was just such a great offer, we couldn't turn it down. I can't wait for the mentions of how bad they fleeced and, and, the commander. And, 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 <laughs> And Washington, you're you're getting rid of a troubled asset that you're not going to pay. You're bringing in Trey Lance, who's still on his rookie deal. Like I, I kind of think this makes sense. No, I mean I, I'm not I'm not interested. In <laughs> I love the Trey. people in the chat. It won't happen. Yeah, it won't yeah happen. guys, come on, we're we're having fun. Well, but I, I but think, I but the fact that oh no, I think the Niners are. I mean, I'm definitely the, in on this as a as a future. Washington could be one of those teams that won't deal with the like a team in the conference or whatever potentially. With this kind of deal, but I, I, San, San Fran's in, and, and again, I think the, their willingness to make these types of deals. Uh, Christian McCaffrey is a perfect example, and so again, they have the locker room, they have the structure in place, the culture, whatever you want to put. It. And guess what? This year, they're going to have an emergency quarterback if they need mm. it because the NFL greenlit that project. All right, next tier, seven to one, Texans Saints. I'm texting our uh, our super fan commanders oh. fan uh, Sully. <laughs> Uh, Chase Young for Trey Lance, you in? <laughs> oh, he he hates Trey Lance too. There's no way he's interested. Uh, Saints, Texans, any interest in 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 that? I, I'm not really sure why the so the Saints uh, for one, I don't believe have much cap space. So I would be very surprised if if they were to make a move here. Uh, and as far as as far as the Texans, I mean, I do like the D'Amico Ryan's angle. Uh, he's another guy that I feel like could potentially like have the ego within him to think he could fix anyone and to line Will Anderson across from Chase Young instantaneously fixes your defense. Mm. Uh but I'm I, I don't think I I they don't strike me as the kind of team that's gonna do that. They just shipped off a ton of assets to pick up CJ Stroud slash Will Anderson and Yeah, they're in rebuilding mode. I, yeah. I mean I guess D'Amico Ryan's interesting interesting opportunity to coach a guy like chase young, but I, I, I guess this and, and for the saints, I just haven't seen much chatter on either saints. I think are too pressed cap wise and Texans. It just doesn't. Yeah. I'm not, I haven't heard any rumbling, so I'm going to, I'm going to skip both those. All right. Next up the six to one tier giants and bears. I, I just don't think you're paying attention. If the, the giants don't have the money. Yeah, Giants maxed out a cap space. That's why they didn't do anything with receiver. And um, what are you talking about? 
Well, did they, they did a lot with the receiver. What did they do to upgrade the receiver? Well, they re-signed Darius Slayton. Check. <laughs> okay. They re-signed Isaiah Hodges. Check. They brought in Paris Campbell. Okay. Check. They brought in Darren Waller. They drafted Jalen Hyatt. Okay. I mean, addressed in a big way. Oh, so you need a splashy signing. That yeah, like an AJ Brown that's yeah. gonna okay. gonna change your team. Uh, I'm with you though. Giants wow. can't do it. And I wow. think they are. I think they would be. I don't think oh, Washington I can't would. Can't wait for football this year. I think. I, I think, cannot wait for football I, this no, year. I'm excited as well. I don't think Washington would trade him in the division. No, I, I don't think Giants. The dumb. It, this is the dumbest odds on uh, that we've talked. Not about. great price. Bears. Bears, Bears maybe, Bears. but again, I haven't. Have they you have heard tons it? Of, they have cap space. Yeah. That so, the Bears have so much cap space. It actually is intriguing to me because they have to spend some of the money. I. Where have you seen the smoke? Uh, let me let me rattle off the last two: Seahawks five to one, Detroit four to one. Where have you seen the? It's a, annoying. Have you seen like this, any real smoke? The the stuff as far as like chatter, Steelers to me actually as far as team fit, non conference uh, can can make it work on the cap. Yeah. Strong head coach who would actually be interested in them. That it, it it clicks on so many levels. The other ones to me are somewhat equal bets, like. Saints, Texans, I think Giants are completely so I would even go I don't understand why the Giants Bears, are on the list. Bears, Seahawks, Lions, to me are all pretty even, but I would rather take the Steelers at eight to one than than Steelers at uh, than Lions at half the odds. You know what? If I was gonna do anything, I would maybe maybe I do talk myself into here. I think we're right. I think we have the right two teams, Pittsburgh and San Francisco. I, and Houston I think, would be a I think I think Chicago could work. No, I, I just I don't I don't like it at the reduced price. Yeah, I I don't get this one at all. I I think I'm I'd be very happy if they went to Pittsburgh. As you know, we're a Pittsburgh Steelers show. All right, we'll move on to guys who actually aren't on teams. I think we I mean Dalvin Cook has been getting released for weeks. <laughs> he has been getting released. Uh, Imagine being Dalvin Cook. The, the 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 I mean, he just. I hope he's not looking at the mentions. Uh, uh, Ryan, you know what I'm looking at? My new uh, pair of bird dog shorts. I love these things, and uh, they. I was gonna say, I, I, at least you're looking at your shorts and not mm -hmm. my shorts. No, no, I'm not checking out Kramer's shorts. I'm checking out mine. Uh, the bird dogs. It, I, what has happened in this world, Ryan? Where Back in the day, you either you either looked good or you were comfortable. There was no sort of in between. If you look good, it was uncomfortable as shit. Or you you know you wore some schlubby uh, you know sweatpants and looked like complete garbage. Now stuff like bird dogs, these shorts, they're amazing because it. I mean, they fit really good. They look really good. I mean, the khakis. You could wear it to like you could wear it at the golf course. You could wear it to the the barbecue, the hang, the office. Like it looks professional. They're mesh shorts, high end mesh shorts. Of course, I'm in. I love the idea as a guy who wants less laundry, less shit to deal with. The fact that they have the built in boxers, the built in liner here. Uh, I well, can't. I mean, it's just amazing. Take us behind the line, but behind the scenes, Sean. What do you mean? Oh, Ryan? I just did like just again, you're you're <laughs> taking us inside your shorts. Oh yeah. I mean, I love I love a good pair of shorts and uh, especially these bird dogs one. I I I just can't wait getting back on uh, a basketball hoop with some nice bird dog shorts. They have uh they obviously have swim trunks. There's just so many nice, nice bird and again, they're comfortable. I, I know a lot of people love the bird dog shoes. You're gonna love the bird dog shorts. And if you use our sign up link, you get a free Yeti tumbler. Imagine just rocking out by the pool with your sweet bird dog shorts and your sweet bird dogs tumbler. Just go to bird dogs.com slash pool and our promo code pool for that Yeti style tumbler. You won't want to take your bird dogs off. We promise you. I, I know you run into some trouble sometimes when you go to the club with shorts on Sean. So mm -hmm. I see they have some very, uh, they have some classic cotton sweats that look very nice. But Although you know when to call be careful, no zipper on the pockets. All right. Dalvin cooks, next team, Los Angeles Rams long shot. And these, they stretch these out obviously again, because not actually on a team, but they stretch these out pretty nicely. Dalvin cook to the Rams 33 to one. They don't mm -hmm. have any money. It, did you see the quote? Dalvin Cook is not going to take some small contract. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think he's going to have to take whatever contract he's given. Yeah, I I don't 
Again, right, I, Rams these, don't have the money though. I, I mean, when when are we gonna see the uh, Saquon Barkley next team odds, Ryan? Oh. <laughs> You understand how this dance works. You know, some July teams, 17th. some teams have Patrick Mahomes, some teams don't. So it kind of, it, what does that mean? Oh, I don't know. You Do got, the Eagles you have Patrick Mahomes? No, no. Oh, you got to okay. ask Saquon Barkley uh, what he meant by that comment. Oh, I see. Where, where some teams, the running back is more important than other teams. That, uh, that was what he was implying. So I just hope it doesn't, you know, you guys have built such a strong locker room. I don't want things to fall apart. Yeah. I mean, I would be, I would be embarrassed too. If my, if my team's plan backfired and I really regretted not taking the deal that was offered to me. Oh that, yeah. I, I, I mean, he I, should be mad at his agents, but it sounds like he's mad at the team. Well, he, here's the behind the scenes. Iggy is that oh, Saquon okay. isn't going to do the, the franchise dirty. He's not going to talk shit. He's not going to play whatever mm-hmm. games are being played. And this is his, this is his kind of final chess move, right? Uh, could this result in hold out during training camp? Uh, maybe. Does it matter because he's a fucking running back? No. <laughs> All right, Rams. I just 30, hope he's there week one. Rams. Th- I just oh my for goodness, your sake I, as a I, fan. I hope so too. Rams thirty three to one. No. They did no. They did draft Noah Gray though. So Move on. Uh, Saints twenty five to one. No. Kamara. It does seem like he's going to be in some. Trouble. I, I I mean again, am I wrong? Like the Saints, I don't think have uh, any sort of cap space to get that done. Uh no, they don't. And yeah, if you like gun to my head, uh, what whatever kind of wager you want me to make, like Saquon Mark Barkley's not missing games this year, hundred percent chance. Uh, uh, Saints do have a little bit more than I thought, fourteen million. But they, do they I, really? Yeah, Ooh. I I thought they uh, had way way less. That could just be because like we had the June first. Um, this shit, yeah. I mean, again, the cap shits. Well, I, yeah, a lot of cap shit doesn't actually hit until June first. So, I, yeah, we. Oh no, it's it's after June first. Maybe that's Saquon, why. Okay. Or uh, cereal has a great uh, little poll question here. Who is uh, spotted in a camp first? Saquon Barkley, Dalvin Cook, or Zeke Elliott? Dalvin Cook. Yeah, it does seem like Dalvin Cook. That's a stupid question. But I mean, uh, I love I love you, cereal, but that's uh, that's a Cowboys. Question. He could be holding out. He could be holding out, right? Yeah, the the guy who shows up first will be playing for the Cowboys. Uh, <laughs> New England. All right, so Saints, Saints twenty five no. to one out. Uh, who who will, who will have the most carries on the Saints? Random question, but oh man, I I would kind of give me Jamal Williams. People count him out too much every time. Every yeah, time I mean, I think Kendry Miller could certainly. Oh, look at you! Look at you, like a Debbie fantasy player. No, I, I, give I, me the rookie. Nah, he just fits that profile. <laughs> the guy who's going to get a ton of carries. I mean, uh, the Saints are very bizarre. We don't know what's going to happen to Alvin Kamara. We don't know if Michael Thomas is actually going to play football. So no, he's going to play. He said there, he's going to play. There's some pretty big X factors. Uh, all right, moving along. Twenty to one Patriots. Mm-hmm. They did just cut James Robinson. Yeah. Which rest in peace, James Robinson. I think. Whatever magic he had that one year in Jacksonville, <clears throat> it got destroyed by when his Achilles erupted or whatever happened. I don't know, man. Do you see? Do you see Bill Belichick paying up for a running back? He's done dumb shit repeatedly yeah. as a GM. So I, I guess who knows? He's nearing the end. Maybe he sees a potential fourth place uh, finish, and he's like, "We need more running backs." Uh, no, I, I to me. That that just wouldn't make sense. It wouldn't make sense for either party. If you're Dalvin Cook, why like why are, like you're going you're, to you're gonna share touches with Ramon? He, he wants to go to Miami. Yeah, like, I mean, come on. They they they're not gonna pay him what he wants if he's also got to share carries with Ramon Jerry Stevenson and Damian Harris, right? I can't imagine he's gonna get much of a contract. But, Dalvin Cook, but Dalvin Cook's a Florida kid. Like yeah. So I, I, I think maybe we got to look at, which by the way, uh, chase young is from Maryland. So kind of playing around mm. his hometown already. So maybe we need to look into that. Maybe he'll end up staying for a discount 49ers. No yeah. Way. So 49ers and page. Oh, sorry. 49ers bears and Patriots were all 20 to one 49ers. They've spent enough on no, the running backs. No, they uh, bears. They've already, they signed a bunch too. Yeah. Uh, Eagles bucks, 18 to one. No way. No bucks. No way, Bucks are Bucks are dead last in cap space. They, they have four hundred k. They're gonna be, <laughs> they're gonna like sign their rookies and that's it. Yeah, and that, they don't seem that creative. One of the, what they're trying to do. Yeah, and one of the the downsides of really being fucked with for cap cap space is even like the the practice squad call ups you have to limit, which uh, Bucks will be in that situation all year. All right, Ravens sixteen to one. 
This one I was kind of thinking on. This one is this one I think is interesting. I mean, you're a Ravens hmm. running back expert, Ryan. This wouldn't be good for Gus Edwards or J.K. Dobbins. No, I, but could it be good for Lamar Jackson? Could, like they're clearly could be good for Lamar Jackson. They're clearly like putting money into this team. Do you think he's a? It's they're Pen, a dark horse candidate. Let's move along and pencil this one because I think of all I think of all the the random outcomes. This one at sixteen to one is is intriguing to me. Yeah, I mean they're they're clearly in a win now mode. They have enough space to be creative with something here. I think I just don't think they're they're going to be willing to give a long term deal, and so that would be where uh, maybe it's not going to work. Yeah. Uh, Denver twelve to one. No. Right. I mean, they the got Broncos. They got Javante Williams. They got uh, they got Samaje Pirine. Well, they brought in Pirine to be the pass catcher. We think. Yeah, and I think they still like Javante Williams. I don't think they're going to give up on him. I, I mean, I saw a video of him from very far away. Where he appeared to be jogging on the field, so he's well, there, recovered. There, there was initially there was Denver was pretty high up on the list, and and seemingly in the past couple of days, stuff has come out that they're out on him. So, just for that alone, I'm going to say no. But I, you know, I guess I wouldn't be shocked. But I'd rather roll the dice with Ravens at sixteen to one than Denver at twelve to one. Cowboys eleven to one. I, I hate oh, to say it. But <laughs> oh. Now Jerry we're Jones talking. He's sitting in his office. Is this the? I mean, I'm putting this one down, and I may. Yeah, I'm. Imagine, this is the most Jerry Jones signing of all time. How mad is he going to be when they pay a different running back? <laughs> well, Tony Pollard is hurt. Clearly, they don't mind uh, mind spending money at the running back. They brought back McCarthy. Why? Because he told Jerry what he wanted to hear. Yeah. How we're gonna run that rock for you, Jer? R- run it. Run it left. Run it right. Yeah. I, they have some money too, according to this twenty million cap space. So, um, <sighs> I'm in on I'm in on the Cowboys signing uh, Dalvin Cook. I don't think so. I don't think so. Cincinnati Bengals ten to one. Nah. Why? I mean, they would have gotten rid of Joe Mixon. They, yeah, they didn't do that yet. So I guess they still could. Unlikely. Uh, Bills five to one. No. Play with his brother. Oh, that's mm-hmm. kind of fun. But why would they? Which, by the way, I know we've I, we've discussed this on the show before. But if you want to have a fun uh, have a fun nugget for your friends, maybe the water cooler at the old office. Dalvin. So Dalvin Cook's full name is Dalvin James Cook. His brother. James Cook's full name is James Dalvin Cook. Yeah, not a joke. That's awesome. Completely serious. Uh, I, that's interesting. If you're Buffalo, why do you bring him in? You've shown no interest in investing money in the running back position ever. What do they just pay Damian Harris? A couple, a couple bags of not potatoes. Much. Well, I, and it does. It seems like this Buffalo team is. More they don't have much set. money. Well, they, they, they they're pretty much off the list and we'll get to him. Deandre Hopkins because of financial reasons. Like if you were going to pay either one of these guys, wouldn't it be, you would pay Deandre Hopkins. Yeah. A receiver greater than running back in that regard. Yeah. Jets two fifty. I don't understand this. Like what they have Brees hall, right? <laughs> I the fuck is I going on. Here? This doesn't make sense. This is like they don't watch football. <laughs> they they're they're clearly not paying attention to underdogs uh ADP. Shout out to underdog promo code uh, SGPN 100% deposit bonus oh, right because wow. Brees Hall is is super high up there. It's as if he never got injured. Yeah. And uh and well, he's healthy according to the Yeah. you know. But I am surprised to see this. I guess it, they're a team that seemingly is kind of like all in and doing whatever it takes. I to me Jets are just as I mean, Jets, Bron- like all these teams are the same. I'm not going to take plus 250. Are you kidding me? No, horrible. And then, of course, we get to the final I, one. I, you know, all it's based on is, uh, you know, what Easy is saying that the Jets supposedly reached out, which I, I don't, what are they doing? I, I, again, it seems like an insane move by the Jets. I wouldn't put anything past this Jets team. They have a very short window with Aaron Rodgers here. They have so some I, cap space. That makes sense from that angle. They, but it, it, I'm, it's less a, a a no for me is less about the Jets than more just about the price of plus two fifty. Is it well and not only that, here's the depth chart. Brees Hall, Michael Carter, Israel Abanaconda, who we love. Israel's Z- awesome. Zonovan Knight. Like Michael the, Carter. I, yeah, like they 
They and, have some players. And on let's the have the hard conversation. Favorite, obviously, Miami Dolphins minus three hundred. Dalvin Cook from Florida. Uh, obviously, he could make more money in Florida without the state tax. Mm. Did did you? Uh, oh shit! Oh no! Do we want to actually have the conversation? Though? Like, is Dil- Dalvin Co- Cook still good? I, I accidentally said Dalvin Cook. <laughs> is Dalvin Cook still good? Right. What are you looking at your screen over there? Uh, Israel Bonaconda. Okay. And I said cock. Is Dalvin Cook still good? Hmm. I don't know. I mean, it, it's is he good? Compared sure. to Barkley, in your opinion of Barkley? Okay, uh, yeah. I mean, as much as I like to give Barkley shit, I think Barkley still has some more explosiveness. Different than class Cook. than Dalvin Cook. Yeah. Could Dalvin Cook be washed up and not actually command anything and just go who, wherever he gets? No, a no. Someone, someone will. You talk. think there's a demand for him? Yeah. Not much, but I think. So I saw. I think some team that is close will convince themselves that bringing in a guy, and again, it's funny he gets this rap of not being able to finish the season when last year he actually played the entire season, eleven hundred seventy-three yards. You know his yards per attempt is still pretty good, four point four. The problem is it's gone down from his peak in twenty twenty, probably. His peak as a running back at five yards per carry. Now he's all the way down to four point four, only thirty nine catches. He's he's good, but again, like if you're a smart team, you shouldn't be investing in a running back. And I don't think he's worth giving another contract to entering his seventh year as a running back. So I think he's still a good player, but I think you're crazy to pay. So I only have Baltimore. I don't know if I can like look myself in the mirror and say, give out a free agent destination prop at minus 300 minus 300 tells me <laughs> no. someone knows something. Well, it's the, it's really the only thing that's had substantial noise. He posted on his Instagram, <laughs> yeah. a picture of him in a Vikings jersey based cel- off of. celebrating in my, yeah, and it's, it's all the dolphins until the Ravens can pay him 50,000 more dollars. So, so I think it's way too early in the process to be laying a minus 300. That's ma- it's bonkers. So final answer, so I'm Ravens and Cowboys. Cowboys make so much sense, right? They, I mean, do you want me to read off the other, the Dallas How, Cowboys? Just, hold on. just one more question. The Bucks are also in Florida. I know they don't have money. Yeah. Teams can figure that shit out. Mike Evans maybe got not on the <laughs> he, maybe he, they they ca- he's a casualty or whatever. He's a Florida kid. I do think he's going to Florida. One of the Florida teams is eighteen to one. Jags weren't even on the board. No. What do the Jags have for cap space? I almost want to. Do we go off the board? Because he's going to Florida, right? Jags have cap space. Yeah, but I think they're set with Travis not, Etienne. Not a Doug P guy. Well, I, I don't think Doug P is a guy that's gonna. All give right, so a, final answer, Baltimore for me. Yeah, and, and, and Miami, a, and, uh, and Miami. But I'm not gonna bet. No, I'm not. But he's gonna end up in Miami, right? Right. That's why it's minus three hundred. But we're trying to have fun here, Ryan. Yeah, Baltimore is a good pick. Let I'm me not, just read off the Cowboys depth chart. Tony Pollard coming off a crippling mm-hmm. injury. Uh, then you got Malik Davis, Ronald Jones, and Deuce Vaughn. Ronald Jones. We love Ronald. If Ronald Jones goes behind enemy lines and helps destroy the Cowboys, it will all be worth it. Love it. Deuce Vaughn. I mean, come on. What an emotional moment. All right, let's do DeAndre Hopkins. Sure. Uh, bottom to the top. I was kind of shocked by some of the odds of some of these teams. Vegas Raiders, Tampa Bay Bucks, Jacksonville Jaguars, Green Bay Packers, all 33 to 1. Some of these teams, uh, a- AKA, none of these teams seem realistic. Well, yeah, I mean, Bucks completely no. Jags, I think it's already a crowded receiver room. Green Bay Packers, why wouldn't they be interested? That's not how they build their team. That's true, and they, that would, and they would be pretty fucking hilarious they if be. they brought in him after after Aaron Rodgers bitched for fucking a decade, <laughs> and they go out and sign DeAndre Hopkins as soon as he fucking as they as he they, they should be. And I, honestly, I think the Raiders would be an interesting destination for them. I just think they're they've paid way too much to Devonte Adams to figure out a deal. I mean, they're showing three million. 3.3 million available cap space for 2023. Now you can get creative if you're a GM whiz like uh, Howie Roseman and get oh, these wow. deals done. Well done. But I mm, Raiders 33 to one. I don't know. I oh, I don't pa- think I can pull the trigger. Uh, Jake Jake uh, Merch God Paquin is saying that that 
DraftKings has plus one twenty five on the mm. on the Miami Dolphins. Interesting. Okay, so yeah, Ooh. that Oof. at at that Woof. price, <laughs> at that price, that obviously it, it changes anyway, the conversation. Back, back to De, uh, DeAndre Hopkins. Yeah, I I don't think I think the DeAndre Hopkins market is pretty straightforward. So mm. we're gonna probably zoom through some of these teams. Mm. Eagles twenty eight to one. Super team. Hold on. Oh, you just want to go back to the Packers? No, but I mean, if you're the Raiders and you have a chance to upgrade, uh, if if you have a chance to swap out Hunter Renfro, they have no money. Yeah, I don't know that they don't have any money. I mean, well, you know what really screws them is they could get, they could get super creative and and figure out a way to sign um, DeAndre Hopkins if. There's like a money and escrow situation that gets real wonky for this Raiders team where you actually have to put like when you sign these yeah. guys the contracts, you actually have to put the oh, money the in cash. escrow. Yeah. And the Davis oh, oh. owner doesn't have like a ton of cash floating oh. around. He's pretty strapped. No, I'm saying like I <laughs> I think Jimmy G's about to get his ass cut. So. I, I think if this was the you know, uh, like the an organization like the Eagles, they and they really wanted him, I think they could figure it out with that amount That's of cash. It's not what the Raiders are missing again. What the Raiders should do and what they will do, none I think, the, are very different conversations. None of these right. teams are missing an alpha receiver from being a, a great team. Uh, Philadelphia Eagles twenty eight to one. Why, like, why are the, the why are the Eagles any different than the rest of these teams? I would make the Eagles odds much higher than the yeah, Raiders odds. I'm with you there because I don't think DeAndre Hopkins has any interest in playing in Philadelphia because he's soft. You about to call him soft? No, I just think he's got Jimmy Butler in him. We have AJ Brown and Devonta Smith already. I mean, are, do you want to be the third receiver? It's a nice way to. Maybe he's better than Devonta Smith. Maybe, but Devonta Smith looked pretty damn good, super, and he's younger. Super team. He he likes a super team. I mean, he's been on he, shit teams. Is he better life. than Quez Watkins? Yeah, but I, I just he wants to go somewhere where he's going to get the ball a bunch. The best part about him being on the Cardinals is that's exactly where he wanted to go. Uh, Los Angeles Chargers. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, look, this would be this would be fun, but in a way, he, like I don't they already have Keenan Allen? They have Keenan Allen. They have Mike Williams, and they but drafted, Keenan Allen. Like feel, feels they like drafted the, Quentin Johnson. Feels like the same. Kind and of actually, I would say he's more like Mike Williams. I know in body type he's not, but he's. He doesn't get much separation. He's like a jump ball receiver. Keenan Allen just gets open from running super crisp routes. DeAndre Hopkins is an interesting receiver because he doesn't get like wide open, but he just He's catches a ton of contested balls and he does have a massive frame. So I, I again I'm with you. I'm out on church. Bears twenty two to one. Why wouldn't the Bears be in on him? They they gave up a second round pick that turned into like the first pick of the second round <laughs> for Chase Claypool. Yeah. They have all the they have money. DJ Moore. They have all the money. They are quote investing everything they can in Justin Fields' development. DeAndre Hopkins wants to go to a team with a great quarterback. Oh yeah, remember that, he did put out his list of stuff he wants. Uh, he was asked a question. <laughs> he answered the question. Obviously, people turn that shit into lists. Yeah, he, he didn't mention Justin Fields. He didn't talk about wanting to go play with Justin Fields. It didn't. He didn't strike me as a kind of. I, I don't know. I, I, I don't think DeAndre Hopkins uh, is soft, but I do think DeAndre Hopkins is trying to go somewhere, where. Yeah, he wants to be the guy. Be, he wants to be number one. He wants to win. I don't think. Well, here's the thing. If you're, if you're, it's a warm weather cat. You he know wants I mean? to. He wants to get paid as a number one receiver. So he's not going to go somewhere where he can't. Immediately become the obvious best option, which I, I guess he would be in Chicago. I don't know. I, I, well, from DJ what Moore? I've read, it doesn't make sense. But DJ Moore, right? Is, uh, is DJ well, Moore a clear cut? I, I mean, no. you put DJ Moore and DeAndre Hopkins in the same training camp. You're telling me DJ Moore wins? I Maybe mean, it's, the po- age it's, aspect, it's yeah. possible, but I don't. I don't think it's like a slam dunk either. Right? Lions twenty to one. Uh, Lions would be interesting, but I, again. I don't know if he. That he doesn't, doesn't seem like right. he wants to play for Jared Goff. Panthers eighteen to one. Ah, I don't know. Hmm. No. Yeah, one. I'm trying to imagine a scenario. Yeah, I mean, again, he would be the. 
I mean, I, he'd be their best receiver, right? No, I'm out. I think with him, DeAndre Hopkins. I mean, is he beating out Adam Thielen, DJ Chark, Terrace Marshall? It just doesn't make sense. I mean, the, the, he wants to play for an established team. Again, Bryce Young was not on his list. No, Jets at sixteen to one. No, a- because Aaron I think Garrett Wilson. They're already kind of figured it out. Yeah, it, it's Garrett Wilson and all of Aaron's buddies. I don't think, I don't think DeAndre Hopkins is one of his buddies. Giants twelve to one again. I they have no money. Uh, this th- this would be certainly a interesting creative thing. I think. Do you think he'd beat out? I, which Ferrari would he replace in the garage? Mm, it's true. <laughs> he'd have to beat out Isaiah Hodgins. <laughs> so it, it'd be a tough battle for him. He, there would be a camp battle. That would. I hope he signs with the Giants because then that would be bad for your Dar- <laughs> uh, for your Darren Waller fantasy bet, oh, right? Wow, the uh, you. the mustache. Well, bet. You're getting nervous already. Ravens a uh, ten to one. Yeah, they already kind of shot their load with Odell and. Oh, maybe not. Ravens ten to one. Mm. Let's think about it. I I just, I mean, again, they are the same argument for Dalvin Cook. Almost this one makes even more sense. Yeah, uh, he strangely is the kind of receiver that would pair nicely with Lamar Jackson. I mean, he had he had a I'm actually you're right short Lamar Jackson, aka Kyler Murray, for all those years. I'm gonna put Baltimore down here at ten to one. Just picking Baltimore for every. Well, because they they clearly are yeah. in that mode of of wanting to throw money around. I think they have the cap space to do it. I think Lamar. There was initial talk when when his first was going to happen that Lamar was interested. Now, also, you know, update you on the situation. He did just visit with the Titans. Supposedly, it went really well, and then he's going really to visit New England. They let him walk out of the building, Ryan. You don't want to let him. Uh, get out of the building. All right, moving along. The Cowboys at eight to one. I just that's not doesn't seem right. They run. They're a running back organization. They're they're a franchise that's built on running back. You're passing on the Cowboys this time because you did bet on the Cowboys last time. No, I bet oh. on Dalvin Cook, and you bet on Dalvin Cook to go to the Cowboys. So your bet was the Cowboys. Uh, we don't have to. We, we no. won't make it a formality. But we're not betting on DeAndre Hopkins to go to the Cowboys. <laughs> No, all right. Chiefs seven to one, great landing spot for DeAndre Hopkins. Really would be a good fit for the team. Don't hate the pick. He super, feels like he he runs the same shit as Travis Kelsey though. They're super up against it cap space wise, but man, if you're the if you're the Chiefs, do you, do you not figure out a way to get this done? Like who else? I mean, I I guess the counter is you won last year with Kadarius Tony in the Super like. <sighs> Kadarius, I mean, they're gonna wish they signed D Hop once Kadarius <laughs> Tony shows them his intellect. Which, by the way, Sean, not to zoom back to Baltimore because you, your new team, which you, you, I'm t- where you're, you're so getting into them, you almost just grab a little of that plus two fifty division future now. Mm. Just throwing that out there. Yeah, but Jared did point out they did draft a receiver in the first round. They Zay, did take Zay Flowers. So it, it it certainly is crowded there, but did you watch Georgia? They liked running a bunch. They had some four wide. I mean, wide sets. if they're talking about running a four receiver set, I think you're fine having Zay Flowers learn from a guy like DeAndre Hopkins, make him the fourth receiver, that kind of thing. So Odell Beckham and DeAndre Hopkins on the same field. That's Ooh. a little, little spicy attitude. All right, Bills five. Are you going? Are you going Chiefs? No. I. It, it's really going to be annoying if he ends up going there. I don't think he does. I feel like the situation is telegraphed. Bills five fifty. They kind of already said they're out, right? Yeah, I mean, which it just sounded way, like he wasn't getting the contract he wanted. There's a number of teams on this list that have kind of said they're out. Uh, Cleveland plus three fifty, of course, played with Deshaun Watson. Have to know when to come in Houston. Potential? Did he also play with them in college? Did they overlap at Clemson? Mm. Um. Those ties tend to bind, uh, but Deshaun might be a little too hot still. <laughs> it does sound like the recruiting's happening. I'm a little surprised to see this one being the longest shot, but they they have a very you know you talked about the Giants in terms of a team with a crowded wide receiver room of Ferrari Ferraris. The Browns have a low key crowded receiver room as well, and so 
you know, I wonder, they already have Amari Cooper who who's been doing a fine job. They have Elijah Moore who people are high on D- Donovan people's Jones. They drafted Cedric Tillman. David bell was a guy people were hyped on last year. They have Mar- Marquise Goodwin who, you know, he's played, yeah, but I, I still think he would be the number one option, right? Over Amari Cooper. I disagree. Mm-hmm. I think it'd be pretty close, but considering their history, maybe, I mean, that that's the reason it's an interesting yeah. bet. I, I hate having to play these, these short odds. Uh, I have to just remind myself, this is like a 12 and a half point dog on a Sunday, but <laughs> wait, plus three fifty. Uh, yeah. You, uh. My off. Yeah, you're right. It's probably more like 10. Yeah. Um, nine, nine. All right. Nine. New England Patriots three to one and Tennessee Titans plus two fifty. The New England stuff, and again, he's so he's probably visiting New England as you're listening to this podcast. It to me is is surprising. They just brought in Juju Smith Schuster. I mean, I guess, yeah. I mean, they did you know all the way going back to Randy Moss. They did bring him in. I don't know. You, I'm never gonna take small odds on on uh, free agents, and he's starting a free agent tour, so he's gonna see and talk to multiple teams. I don't think any of these favorites make sense in getting down. It's interesting too. Cause the, most of these teams that they don't seem to have a quarterback that he wants to play. With. No, no. He went out of his way to say he wants to play for a good quarterback. I don't think he's the a South Carolina is a kid. good quarterback is Tennessee close enough in proximity for him to make that choice to just make it about Go heading back east. I mean, if you're worried about quarterback play, the Titans aren't in on Ryan Tannehill. Maybe he's, he's in probably, on Will he saw Levis. Those, he saw those Will Levis clips. You think he's going to be in on Will Levis? It's it's got to be to the me, Browns, right? I, to me, this is. Did we solve it? We solved the riddle. I think the Browns. Yeah, if the odds were the same, I would take the Browns. But I'm going to take the Chiefs at seven to one and the Ravens ten to one because those are teams that you uh, said the Chiefs were strapped though. Yeah, but I I will solve that riddle. I think they could figure it out. All right. That I mean obviously that is a big case against it is w- how tight they are money wise. Give me the brown. I mean, to me it's a three horse race. I I I don't think any of the horses outside. I think the Do you think D-Hop's just going to wait around? I think it's be- he needs to show up to camp. Like he's a receiver. It's not like a running back. You can't just drop in and play. You got to get some chemistry going for that court with that quarterback. Mm. Yeah, I I'll, I'll go KC in Baltimore. But you're right. I mean, KC is kind of strapped. Baltimore did draft a receiver, but give me Cleveland. The 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 lower odds at that price is eh, it's not. It's is there a team we didn't mention that's a dark horse? Oh man, one through twenty teams, probably not. All right. Yeah, I mean, I'm feeling. Yeah. Bear, do we want to go back to the Bears? Bears at twenty-two to one. You know what? Put the Bears down. Give me Cleveland and the okay. Bears. Okay, Ryan's Ryan's slowly coming I, around to well, Justin Fields. Justin Fields is cool enough to where like he could get like back channel connected to D Hop, mm-hmm. and D Hop can then apologize for not putting him on the list. Easy in the YouTube chat is saying Steelers oh, as a dark wait. horse. Okay, he wasn't on the list. No, he wasn't on the list. Oh, let's pencil that one in. Let's well, find you got, you got Deontay Johnson. You got George Pickett. They're so a, they're so desperate. They picked up Allen Robinson, who, by the way, uh, super fan Scott Bowser seems I, to I, think it's going to be a big part of the team this year. I got to start uh, getting some 18th round Allen Robinson cheers. But yeah, if you're bringing Allen Robinson in, of course you're at least going to kick the tires on D Hop, right? Yeah. Kenny Pickett wasn't on that list. <laughs> yeah, he lit. Right, bring that up because we have to. He listed out quarterbacks he would play with. Yeah, hold on. I mean, come on. Josh Allen, Jalen Hurts, Patrick Mahomes, ding, Lamar Jackson, ding, Justin Herbert. Oh, Chargers. <laughs> okay. Where where is All right, so the Justin odds Fields? of those teams, Chargers 25 to 1, Eagles 28 to 1, Ravens 10 to 1, Chiefs 7 to 1, Bills 550. Yep. <laughs> should we just, you should just play all maybe ooh, chargers. They wouldn't do something like that. No way they would ever do something like that. Mm. That's not very charger of them. They wouldn't, they're not going to sign a guy, right? Super chargers charge. No, it, how excited would Justin Decker be? <laughs> he's he's J- Decker is a character, man. We got to, I'm looking forward to these team previews. All right. You know what though? I feel like I should take a stab at the chargers. 
I mean, Ryan. Yeah, it's warm. He's a South Carolina I mean, kid. Because he said it, I think if it's close between Chargers and Bears, I think you almost have to go Chargers. If you were D Hop, would you rather go play for the Bears or the Chargers? <laughs> I'd rather play for the Chargers, but live in Los Angeles. Yeah, be the second team that no one pays attention to. Oh, like like the towns living and dying by their Rams. I. <laughs> a little bit more than the chart. Char- I guess, Sean, at yeah. least they sell Ram stuff in the grocery store. Sure. You ask an average person that works at a grocery store in Los Angeles, uh, what like what's Ryan, the- we gotta do a man on the street and just ask, can you name uh can you name both professional football teams that play in LA? Yeah. I mean it ba- ba- yeah, the, the uh the was it the Titans that did that that uh schedule release video and they asked all the, <laughs> that basically that bit, but asking about the home team in yeah. uh, Los Angeles. Yeah, let's do it. All right. We'll get that Send going. CJ out? Yeah. Oh. Let's go. Untapped resource. <laughs> CJ on the streets. Oh, I love it. Which by the, the way, in the try, box. we're trying to get uh some some tickets into the uh might be getting some the man in the box might be deployed to the U S open later this week. Yeah, that's not, that's not going to happen. Hey everyone. Thank you for tuning in to the sports gambling podcast. Got a great week of shows coming up. We do. We will be talking uh, with the golf gambling guys talking a little U S open. What else we got on the calendar, Ryan? USFL, college uh, baseball. Yeah, obviously it's more college NFL baseball. futures. Hey, you know what? The great time of year when we get to talk about how Omaha is nice. That's the Omaha. nice thing. That's the Omaha. nice thing. They put the college baseball. I figured it out. They put the college baseball World Series in the Omaha every year, just so people were forced to say nice <laughs> things about Nebraska. Omaha Stakes, Omaha College wow. Baseball doesn't get any better than that. Hey, uh, why don't you download the SGPN app? It's free. We got all our picks pages there. All the uh, easy way to listen to the podcast, links to the contest. We got it all. Uh, make sure you grab those bird dogs. Birddogs.com slash pool. Get that sweet tumbler. Look awesome for summer. And uh, the edge boost double down. Sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash edge. Double your bet with 0% interest. Ryan, what would be your double down play of all these if you had to choose? Uh, that Miami plus 125 for Dalvin Cook's interesting. But you know what? Uh, I'm gonna say the the Steelers chase young. That one just jumped nah, out. That's a good me. show bet. Yeah, it, it's Steelers co-sign that one. Mike right? Tomlin, good good uh, <laughs> rehab story. I like it. You know it. Thank you for participating in the Sports Gambling Podcast. For Sports Gambling Podcast, I'm Sean Second the Money Green, and he's Ryan. Yeah, excellent. I mean, st- to Mike Tomlin's gonna fix Chase Young. Beautiful. <laughs> Kramer, let it ride.